Hello students, welcome back. So today we are going to start another phylum that is phylum Echinodermata. Okay, in the previous session we already covered some of the phylum. For example, we have started with the Porifera, right? In Poriferans, then we have done Cylindrata, then Tenophora, Platyhelminthus, Ascalhelminthus, Annelida, Mollusca, Arthropoda. So up to here we have completed. Okay, we have done about the general characteristics as well as the distinctive characteristics of all these eight phylum. So today we are going to start the ninth phylum that is phylum Echinodermata. Right? So the word, it's a Greek word and it is taken with the two words that is Echinos as well as Derma. Right? Echinos means something related to the spines. Right? Whenever we are talking about the echino word, it means it, mean, it is that the spines is present there. Okay. And what is the meaning of derma? We have done about the uh, skin. Whenever we are talking about the skin in biology. Okay. We know that a specialist which is dealing with the skin known as dermatologist. Right. So same thing here. Derma means something related to skin. And these echinodermata are those animals in which the skin having the spines. That's why they got their name echinodermata. Okay. So in short what we are saying these are the spiny skinned animals. Is ka matlab kya hai ki inke skin mein spines lage hai. Right. Isi liye inko kya kya Spiny skinned animals. Okay, so this is the general thing about the echinodermata. Now, in all the phylum, whether we have started from the polyphera up to the arthropoda, we have done some of the general characteristics. What was the general characteristics? That is what, what is the level of organization and what is symmetry, what is coelom, what is germinal layer and body plan. Okay, in all the phylum, we have discussed all about it. So here also, if you will discuss about the level of organization, okay, we have started from the first one that was the cell level of, of organization. In Porifera, you have seen that the organization was cell level. Then in Cylindrata and Tenophora, it was the tissue level. Then Platyhelminthus, then organ. So from here, Escalhelminthus, there will be a proper organ system level of organization. So here also in this case of Echinodermata, it is also having organ system level of organization. Okay, so we have started from the lower animals and we are moving towards the higher animals, right? And if you will compare with all previous one, Echinodermata is highest one from all of them. Okay, so they are having the organ system level of organization. It means that the, made, the body is made up of the combination of different organs. Okay, now about the symmetry. We are doing symmetry in all the phylums. If you will start from the porifera, they were the asymmetrical. Then coelontrata and tenophora, what was the symmetry? It was the um, uh, radial symmetry, right? And here, if we we'll talk about the platyhelminthus, from the platyhelminthus, we are observing that all they are what type of symmetry? Bilateral symmetry. Okay. Now, if we we'll talk about from the platyhelminthus up to the higher one, what we were observing, we observed that they are having bilateral symmetry. It means that if we will cut the body into two equal halves, then it will be cut from only one plane. Right, and in radial symmetry, if you will cut the body in equal halves, you can cut from any of the plane. We have discussed already all about it. So, here, if we'll talk about the echinodermata, it is one of the phylum, or we can say it is the only phylum in which some different type of thing ha happens here. For example, if you will talk about the adult one, if you will talk about the adult animal of the echinodermata phylum, they are having what type of symmetry? Radial symmetry. Okay, they are having radial symmetry. But if you will talk about the larval forms of, of these animals, they are having the bilateral symmetry. 
okay so this question is very very important for the mcq that what is that phylum in which two types of symmetry are found in adult we are having radial symmetry and in larval forms they are having bilateral symmetry okay i have fun um, example also for example starfish okay starfish is one of the example of the echinodermata so they are having what they are having five arms one two three four five arms right and what type of symmetry if you will you can cut from any of the plane either you can cut from this plane or from this plane or any of the plane right so it is it performs the radial symmetry in adult form okay and as they are having five wings so we can say what type of radial symmetry pentamerous it means that those which comes under the echinodermata if they are having radial symmetry it means that whether they are having five or multiple of five right if it would be there then it will follow the radial symmetry right here now another thing that is germ layer it means that it forms from how many layers if we'll talk about the first one it was the cellular level of organization right so as we were moving towards the higher animal we observe that they are forming the triploblastic okay we are saying that from platyhelminthes escalhelminthes annelida mollusca arthropoda in all these things we have observed that they are having triploblastic it means that they are having ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm all three layers okay but in the lower animals they were the diploblastic now another characteristics is silom silom is what it is a body cavity and we have done from porifera to the arthropoda again that there are having different types the earlier one they were the acelomate unke paas body cavity nahi thi so what we said they were the acelomate jaise jaise evolution hua jaise jaise animals advanced hue they are having the silom unhone kya karna shuru kiya body ne they form the silomate right so we can say from escalhelminthes as we have discussed as we are moving towards the annelida we are having proper silom okay in platyhelminthes it was a zero silomet but as we are moving to the higher animals we were observing that they are having true silom it means that proper body cavity is there if body cavity will be there then there will be a proper accommodation of organs right here and here we have divided this true silomate or we have divided the silomate into two parts what are they cecosilomate as well as enterosilom cecosilom as well as enterosilom so cecosilom was, was the previous one it means that it was not the advanced one before that if you observe that in arthropoda also we are having the silomate but that silom was not the enterosilom what was that it was the cecosilom it means that that enterosilom is made up of from the internal part or the internal gut of the membrane right so we can say echinodermata is one of the phylum from where we can see the enterosilomic it means highly advanced type of silom right here and i have written here from enteron of the gastrula we know different stages are there in the development or in after the fertilization so this enterosilom is forming from where from the internal part okay from the internal side of the gastrula that's why we are saying enterosilic right and here after some time we will study that what are the different features or what are the advanced feature from which we can say these echinodermata are resembling or showing some similar characteristics with the higher animals or with the chordata okay or with the human beings right so this is one of the feature which shows that enterosilom and in our body in human body also what type of silomate we are we are having enterosilom right here now up to here we discussed about about the general features now we will discuss some more features or characteristics about the echinodermata if you'll talk about the echinodermata habitat and habitat it means that where they uh, they prefer to live so here we can say they are exclusively marine what is the meaning of exclusively marine it means that they cannot be found in any fresh water okay they are found only in only marine water inko aap sirf kahan dekh sakte hain seas mein 
right they can be found in c and as well as they are the bottom dwellers what is the meaning of bottom dwellers it means that they prefer to live at the bottom of the sea ठीक है ये ओशन और सी में कहा रहना पसंद करते हैं एट द डेप्थ लेवल दैट्स वाई वी आर सिंग बैंथोनिक वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बैंथोनिक इट मीन्स दैट दोज ऑर्गेनिजम्स और दोज एनिमल्स विच आर लिविंग एट द बॉटम ओके सो वी कैन से दीज आर द बॉटम ड्यूलर्स एज वेल एज दे आर एक्सक्लूसिवली मरीन नाउ वन मोर क्वेश्चन अराइज फ्रॉम य that out of these eight phylum which we have done till now in which of the phylum you have seen that exclusively marine okay one of them is echinodermata previously also we have done one of the phylum that is tanophora okay tanophora was also the exclusively marine so we can say that in later on some more are there but up to here up to the echinodermata we can say that tenophora and the echinodermata are the phylums which prefer to live in marine okay they are exclusively marine otherwise all the phylum they are having um, habitat of aquatic as well as fresh water as well as marine water so few of the organism from fresh and few of the organism with the uh, that uh, marine one okay so here we can say that these are the exclusively marine important question okay now if you will talk about the body if you will talk about the body of the echinodermata see here uh, one of uh, so many examples are there under this phylum like we can say starfish brittle fish and sea cucumber sea lily so these are some examples which we are studying under the echinodermata so if you will see the structure of those animals we can say head is absent here what is happening head is absent now if you will compare with the previous phylum what we have studied we have studied that from the platyhelminthes some of the head has been started okay platyhelminthes se kuch civilization start ho gaya tha as we are moving up to the mollusca and arthropoda we have seen that most of the head is now formed but again in echinodermata पहले प्लेटी हेलमेंट से तो पहले कोई भी हेड फॉर्मेशन नहीं थी नो सिफिलाइजेशन फॉर देयर इट वाज हैज बीन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द प्लेटी हेलमेंट इज बट दैट वाज नॉट डिस्टिंक्ट वन ओके बट एज वी आर मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द हायर एनिमल्स व्हाट वी ऑब्जर्व्ड वी ऑब्जर्व दैट दे आर हैविंग सम हेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ओके एंड दे आर परफॉर्मिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू इट एंड दे आर हैविंग प्रॉपर सेंस ऑर्गन्स दे हैव प्रॉपरिंग नर्वस न्यूरॉन्स राइट so here if we'll talk about the echinodermata again head wapis se kya ho gaya absent so head is absent again in echinodermata and what we are observing in each and every phylum what we are observing that after and after there will be some advancement hum kya dekh rahe hain ki har phylum mein kuch na kuch advancement ho rahi hai but here you can see that so many things are going back yani ki kuch cheeze aisi hain ki kya ho rahi advancement now ke Uh, they are following to the previous phylum and one of them is a head okay head was again absent here now if we'll talk about the segmentation segmentation is one of the feature which we have discussed in case of arthropoda also okay and we have discussed in case of annelida also right some of type of segmentation but here if you will talk here in case of echinodermata they are not having any segmentation what is not divided into any segments here so we can say lack segmentation wapis se kya ho gaya sabji ka promotion ho raha hai yahan pe kya ho raha hai inka demotion we can say like this so what is happening head bhi chala gaya and segmentation bhi khatam ho gayi and if you will talk about the body forms you can see these uh, body of these animals can be of different types that's why i've written variation so many variations are there you can see that they can be found in the round structure they can be found in the star shaped structure they can be found in the oval structure okay so kai forms mein ki inke kai shapes ho sakte hain if you'll talk about this uh, starfish having star like shape if you'll talk about some more example sea cucumber it will be in shape of cucumber ठीक है कुकुम्बर के शेप का होगा सो लाइक दिस वी आर हैविंग डिफरेंट शेप्स हियर सो वी कैन से दे आर हैविंग वेरिएड फॉर्म्स इन केस ऑफ इकाइनो डर्मेटा नाउ अगेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द एपिडर्मिस इट मींस दैट आउटर सरफेस द आउटर एपिडर्मिस इज मेड अप ऑफ वॉट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ सिंगल लेयर्ड एपिडर्मिस 
okay if the body of the echinodermata is formed of single layer epidermis and this is happening why because it is forming something from the mesodermally originated okay we are discussing here in another uh, feature endoskeleton here we are saying that epidermis is present okay likewise in another characteristics endoskeleton in previous of the phylum पीछे हमने जो भी फाइलम पढ़ी है वी हैव नॉट डिस्कस मोर अबाउट द इंडोस्केलेटन वट वी हैव डिस्कस इन केस ऑफ आर्थोप्रोडा वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सम एक्सोस्केलेटन टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर जो कि बाहर से बॉडी के था बट ही हैव वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट सम इंडोस्केलेटन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ आर बॉडी ऑल्सो हमारी बॉडी के अंदर भी क्या है कुछ एंडोस्केलेटन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर हैविंग प्रॉपर स्केलेटल सिस्टम विच इज प्रोवाइडिंग स्टिफनेस टू आर बॉडी सो लाइक वेज दे आर हैविंग सम टाइप ऑफ एंडोस्केलेटन एंड दीज स्केलेटन आर फॉर्म इन फॉर्म्स ऑफ कैल्सरस बोन्स इट मीन्स दैट इट इज हैविंग सम कैल्सरस बोन्स एंड दीज बोन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टार फिश ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट सम ऑफ द बोन्स आर प्रेजेंट हियर some of the bones are present here and these bones are calcareous okay these are calcareous and when it will when it will form ye kya karenge thoda sa ye uthe se honge they will uh, project outwards as a spine so these bones will project itself to form a spines and you can observe some rough surface of the स्टारफिश ओके स्टारफिश में आप देखोगे तो कैसी होगी रफ सरफेस यानी कि स्पाइन से आपको दिखाई देंगे दैट्स वाई वी हैव गिवन द नेम स्पाइनी स्किल एनिमल्स वाई बिकॉज ड्यू टू दिस कैल्सरस बोन एंड दे आर प्रोजेक्टिंग आउटसाइड टूवर्ड्स द बॉडी एंड दे आर दे आर अपेयरिंग लाइक अ स्पाइन बॉडी ओके सो वी कैन से that these are formed of calcareous bones which are projects outside as a spines अब क्या हो रहा है जो भी bones अब बाहर को spines बन रही है वो कैसे ओरिजिनेटेड है दे आर ओरिजिनेटेड मीजोडर्मली ओके दीज आर ओरिजिनेटेड मीजोडर्मली नाउ व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ दिस मीजोडर्मली एज वी हैव डिस्कस दे आर द ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक ठीक है ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक हो गया एक्टोडर्म है मीजोडर्म एंड एंडोडर्म सो व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ मीजोडर्म इन आर बॉडी दैट वॉट एवर द ऑर्गन बोन्स विच आर फॉर्मिंग इन आर बॉडी इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑल दे आर मीजोडर्मली ओरिजिनेटेड right same thing or somehow same thing is happening in case of echinodermata also what is happening that these bones these endoskeletal calcareous bone is projecting outside and they are projecting from which layer of the body from the mesodermal again again we got the a uh, proof that somehow these echinodermata are related to the chordates it means they are related to human beings ठीक है इसीलिए हमने इकाइनोडर्मेटा को कॉडेटा के पास में रखा है क्यों क्योंकि इसके कुछ फीचर्स ऐसे हैं जो कि क्या है एडवांस्ड है और दे आर रिजेंबलिंग विद द फीचर ऑफ द कॉडेटा अदरवाइज यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट इन इकाइनोडर्मेटा सम ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर वेरी वेरी प्रिमिटिव फॉर्म इनके इकाइनोडर्मेटा के काफी फीचर ऐसे हैं जो कि क्या है जो कि प्रिमिटिव फॉर्म में है वो भी इसमें है इसको तो पीछे चले जाना चाहिए था बट यस ड्यू टू सम दिस टाइप ऑफ फीचर दे आर दे कम्स अब ऑल दीज फाइलम्स हियर ओके एंड दीज आर प्लेस क्लोजली विद द कॉर्डेटा सो वन ऑफ दैम वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एंटरोसिलोमिक फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द गैस्ट्रोला एंड द सेकेंड वन दैट दे आर हैविंग द मीजोडर्मली ओरिजिनेटेड इंडोस्केलेटन एंड दीज आर फॉर्म हियर सो these are the some distinct feature or we can say these are the feature which are showing that we can put them close to the cordata right here now if we talk about the body here we are talking most about the body body ke humne pad liya bahar ki cell wall kaisi hoti hai body ki wall kaisi hoti hai we have done that internal body kaisi hoti hai now along with this they are having some pedicellary okay again very very important question right this um, we can say this feature of pedicellary is present where in which phylum in case of echinodermata right these are present here in their body right and what is the function of this pedicellary as we are saying that echinodermata prefer to live in the bottom okay we are saying they are the bottom dwellers ab kya hota hai ki jitne bhi upar एनिमल्स होंगे वट दे आर डूइंग दे आर सेंडिंग और वट एवर दे आर थ्रूइंग दे डेबरीज टू द बॉटम ऊपर से वो क्या कर रहे हैं नीचे को फेंक दे रहे हैं जो भी डेबरीज जो भी कूड़ा है 
so here what is the function of this pedis larry it help the body of the echinodermata to remove all these debris from the body ye kya karega jo bhi debris upar se aa raha hai surface se bottom mein usko kya karenge clean karenge so here the they are having pedis larry in their body which keeps the body surface clean from the debris okay so this feature is important pedis larry here now As we are talking under the body heading, body में और कैसे हो सकती है If you will see the body of the echinodermata, again I am uh, showing this uh, starfish. You can see that the dorsal part as well as ventral part. Here also you can see the spines in their body. ठीक है इनकी body में क्या दिख रहे हैं आपको Spines दिख रहे हैं ओके सो दीज स्पाइंस आर वर्ड दिस आर नथिंग दीज आर द कैल्सरस बोन्स व्हिच आर प्रोजेक्टिंग आउटवर्ड्स एंड फॉर्मिंग द स्पाइंस नाउ दिस इज हैविंग द डॉर्सल पार्ट एंड द वेंट्रल पार्ट डॉर्सल मतलब ऊपर का सरफेस वेंट्रल लोअर सरफेस सो इफ यू विल सी द डॉर्सल सरफेस ऑफ द स्टारफिश यू कैन से दैट दे आर हैविंग सम पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी व्हाट इज इट द एनस व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट एट द डॉर्सल साइड अब डॉर्सल साइड में कौन कौन से बॉडी के पार्ट्स होंगे डॉर्सल में एनस होगा और वेंट्रल में क्या होगा इसका माउथ होगा ओके स्टारफिश के वेंट्रल में माउथ प्रेजेंट है और डॉर्सल में एनस प्रेजेंट है राइट एज वेल एज देर इज वन मोर पोर प्रेजेंट इन द स्टार फिश यू कैन सी दैट एनस इज प्रेजेंट वन साइड एंड एट बिटवीन देर इज अ स्पेस ओके देर इज अ वन स्पेरिकल स्पेस विच इज नोन एज मेट्रीपोराइट What we will say, medullary pori. So same thing I have written. Dorsal surface having anus, ventral surface having mouth. अब जिसमें mouth होगा उसको हम क्या कहेंगे? Oral part. Okay, mouth or oral is related to mouth. So this mouth part is also known as ventral part is also known as oral. And this dorsal part having no mouth, so it will be aboral. Okay. So what is the meaning of oral and aboral? And this dorsal surface having anus. as well as madreporite and this ventral part they are having mouth as well as you can see there they are having some two feet okay they are having some two feet kaise feet hai two feet they will move like this so here we can say the ventral part mouth and two feet one by one we will discuss about that what is the function of this madreporite what is the function of this two feet because these are the distinct distinctive feature ये क्या है इकाइनोडर्मेटा के डिस्टिंक्टिव फीचर हैं सो वी हैव टू स्टडी मोर अबाउट इट सो नाउ वी विल स्टडी दैट वन मोर सिस्टम इज प्रेजेंट वाटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम हियर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द मैट्रिपोराइड एंड द ट्यू फीट ओके सो देर इज वाटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एम्ब्यू लेकुलर सिस्टम जिसको हम क्या कहते हैं एम्ब्यू लेकुलर सिस्टम भी कहते हैं सो इफ यू विल टॉक अबाउट द पोरिफेरा देर ऑल्सो यू हैव डन अबाउट द केनाल सिस्टम वहाँ पे आपने कैसा पढ़ा था केनाल सिस्टम बट इट इज नॉट केनाल सिस्टम वॉट इट इज इट इज अ वॉटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम सो हाउ द हाउ द मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड द बॉडी बिकॉज दे आर नॉट हैविंग सच प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर सो वॉट दे आर डूइंग दे आर टेकिंग इन साइड द वॉटर बिकॉज दे आर टेक एज दे विल टेक इन साइड द वॉटर वॉटर विल मूव इन साइड द बॉडी ऑफ द स्टार फिश सो हाउ द वॉटर विल मूव इन साइड द बॉडी अब इसके अंदर वॉटर कैसे मूव करेगा सो दे आर हैविंग डिफरेंट कैनाल्स हियर बट हियर अगेन आई एम सेंग इट इज नॉट ए कैनाल सिस्टम इट इज अ वॉटर वेस्ट इट मीन्स एन हाउ वॉटर इज मूविंग इन साइड द बॉडी ओके so we can say that they are having madreporite so some steps we will discuss it here it will start from the madreporite abhi body hai body ke dorsal part mein madreporite hai okay as the water will answer enter but is body ke andar water kahan se enter karega madreporites ke through okay so what is the function of madreporite to take the water from the uh, outer area ओके जैसे ही पानी अंदर गया व्हाट विल हैपन देयर विल बी अ स्टोन कैनाल आई एम ड्राइंग हियर फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाट आई सेड देयर इज देयर फॉर देयर इज स्मॉल ओपनिंग प्रेजेंट एट द डॉर्सल पार्ट व्हिच इज नोन एज मैड्रिपोराइड फ्रॉम हियर देयर विल बी अ स्टोन कैनाल राइट आफ्टर दैट द वाटर विल मूव टुवर्ड्स द रिंग कैनाल रिंग का मतलब कुछ इस तरीके का स्ट्रक्चर होगा राउंड स्ट्रक्चर देन फ्रॉम हियर 
and round structure is this one okay again it will move inwardly from the lower side again it will move like this and what it will do it will go to the different arms okay sabse pehle kahan gaya water madreporite madreporite se stone canal then from stone canal it will move in this ring canal which is uh, circular in structure and from here it will go into the radial canal radial means and ki kitne isme arm se five arms so it will move all five arms and from this radial arms it will move to the lateral ab yahan pe jaane ke baad bhi kya hoga lateral means kya hota hai this type of structure okay if you will see here this radial again these radial are connected with this lateral one so here this radial canal will again uh, send the water to the lateral one and here lateral one there is what is it tube feet ab ye lateral se kya connected hai tube feet connected hai and what is the function of this tube feet they will help the they will help the uh, starfish to move from one place to another okay tube feet ka we know that it is a feet like structure पैर की तरह तो क्या करेंगे जैसे ही वाटर इसके अंदर एंटर करेगा तो ये क्या कर सकता है ड्यू टू द हाइड्रोलिक प्रेशर और द सक्शन प्रेशर दे विल मूव दे विल मूव फॉरवर्डली ये आगे को कैसे मूव करेंगे विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वाटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम सो वी कैन से दैट दिस वेस्कुलर सिस्टम इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द लोको मोशन ऑफ द स्टार फिश ऑफ द और दाइनोडर्मेटा ठीक है स्टारफिश कैसे मूव करता है विद जैसे ही पानी इसके अंदर मूव करेगा वैसे ही देर विल बी सम क्रिएशन ऑफ प्रेशर इससे क्या होगा प्रेशर क्रिएट होगा और यही प्रेशर इसको हेल्प करेगा कि ये आगे को मूव कर पाए राइट अप टू ये अलोंग विद अलोंग विद दिस फंक्शन दैट इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द लोको मोशन देर इज सम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ दिस वाटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम और ऑफ द ट्यूब फीट okay so what can be the function uh, functions we know that as we will move towards the another feature we know we will study about the respiration system we will study about the excretion system we will study about the nervous system okay so we can say there is no proper excretion or excretory organ iske paas koi bhi excretory organ nahi hota hai as we have discussed in the previous phylum हमने पढ़े थे कि हमारे पास कौन कौन से एक्सक्रेटरी ऑर्गन स्टार्ट हो गए थे वी आर हैविंग द फ्लेम सेल्स देन वी हैव डन एच शेप रेडेड सेल्स देन वी हैव डन सम ऑफ द नेट नेफ्रीडिया देन मेटा नेफ्रीडिया सो देर आर वट डिफरेंट एक्सक्रेटरी ऑर्गन इन डिफरेंट फाइलम बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ए काइनोडर्मिटा फिर से क्या होगा डिमोशन फिर से इसमें से इसका अपना एक जो एक्सक्रेटरी ऑर्गन डेवलप होने लगे थे फाइलम में दे गेट रिमूव्ड ओके इस फाइलम में आपको देर इज नो एक्सक्रेटरी ऑर्गन इफ देर विल बी नो एक्सक्रेटरी ऑर्गन सो हाउ इट विल सेंड द नाइट्रोजनस वेस्ट और द वेस्ट फ्रॉम द बॉडी बॉडी से वेस्ट कैसे रिमूव करेगा विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस ट्यू फीट ओके और यही कैसे हम कर सकते हैं ये एक्सक्रेशन के लिए भी यूजफुल हो गया एंड एज वेल एज दे विल रेस्पायर समथिंग सो दे आर रेस्पायरिंग थ्रू देयर होल बॉडी इफ विल टॉक अबाउट द रेस्पिरेशन और एक्सचेंजिंग ऑफ गैसेज एनिमल क्या करेंगे कुछ गैसेस भी एक्सचेंज करेंगे तो ये गैसेस कैसे एक्सचेंज करेंगे विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर बॉडी सर्फिस और द डिफ्यूजन सो ट्यू फिट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ दैम बिकॉज दे आर हैविंग थिन लेयर ओके बट थिन लेयर होते हैं सो वी कैन से सो दिस विल एक्ट एज अ रेस्पिरेशन और द एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस एज वेल एज फॉर द एक्सक्रीशन फॉर रिमूविंग द वेस्ट ऑल्सो एज वेल एज फॉर द लोको मोशन मूव करने के लिए and another important feature that it is also used for capturing the prey इससे क्या हो सकता है ये prey को भी capture कर सकते हैं with the help of this tube feet okay in most of the for example as we have done uh, union हमने आर्थ्रोपोडा में पढ़ा था कि uh, one of the member that was union and you, uh, what uh, what was the function in case of this um, union what we have done here we have done that they are having proper shell like structure okay so due to this shell like structure what they are doing they are they are moving inside it and due to this what happened they will send their two feet inside this shell and uh, attacking there and due to this they are taking their nutrition or capturing the prey here okay so we can say like this so here one of the thing which i have to update here that alida arthropoda 
then mollusca okay then echinodermata right so here again we have, will take another feature that is autonomy and regeneration so what is the meaning of this autonomy and regeneration now again you will see that jaise aapne pehle phylum padha porifera then the previous lower animals what we have observed that they are having true regeneration or they are having proper regeneration capability what is the meaning of regeneration if any body part will detach from the body what will happen they they are capable to make a new body regeneration mein kya hota hai ki body ka koi bhi part toot ke kya bana sakta hai naya bana sakta hai they can form a new body for example if arms will get break down what will happen they will able to make a new arm right so we can say the regeneration capacity is very high in case of echinodermata okay and what is the meaning of autonomy autonomy is a feature in which during some um, during some fear okay during some um, we can say koi aise uh, uh, for the defense mechanism okay apne aap ko bachane ke liye what they are doing they are uh, breaking their arms okay this mostly this happens in case of brittle stars brittle stars mein kya hote hain ki wo kya karti hain apne arms ko kahin par bhi koi dar ki baat hoti hai to apne arms ko chhod ke aage tod ke chal jati hai so that's why we are saying that this autonomy is what removing or breaking its arms by itself and again regenerating the same one after it okay so autonomy and regeneration capacity is very high in case of echinodermata right here so now again we will talk about the digestion as we have said digestion is what we are considering about the body plan from porifera up to the mollusca what we have observed we have observed that there will be some body plan and in previous one there was a blind sac body plan pehle kya tha blind sac body plan then they have started some complete body plan yani ki body digestive tract complete hua okay so as it will form the complete so it will form the mouth as well as anus complete digestive tract ka matlab kya hua ki they are having two openings that is mouth and anus here so here also you can see that they are usually complete okay that the digestive the digestive or the alimentary canal is complete they are having two openings as we have said mouth as well as anus dono cheez present hai and as well as i have written deuterostomus okay in class of this chapter we have discussed about the protostomus and deuterostomus what is the meaning of protostomus it means that what is happening that mouth is forming first and then anus jab mouth pehle develop hota hai aur anus baad mein develop hota hai that condition was protostomus aur aisi condition kis mein hoti hai lower animals right as jaise jaise higher animals mein hongi to what type of uh, things will be there deuterostomus it means that what will happen here the anus will develop first and after that mouth will develop and this same condition happens in case of human beings we human beings are also having deuterostomus condition right and when when it is happening during the embryo development so during the uh, body differentiation sabse pehle body ka part kya banega anus banega fir mouth banega now one of the exception is brittle star in case of brittle star there is incomplete alimentary canal or the digestive tract you have to memorize because uh, it may be asked in exam that what can be the exception and due to this exception we are saying again they are going they are adopting the primitive character right here now respiration as i have said resp no proper things are there so due with the help of diffusion or the exchange of gases will take place and in different animals there are different uh, uh, system or there are different things with the help of this they can exchange the uh, gases okay so if we we'll talk about the starfish if we we'll talk about the starfish what is their dermal branchia and papillae are present and through which they can exchange their uh, their uh, gases okay now if we we'll talk about the brittle stars they are having genital bursae so here what is important thing you have to memorize in which one what type of things are present for the respiration and in case of we can say uh, some sea urchins sea urchins they are having that peristomial gills if we we'll talk about the sea cucumber they are having cloacal trees okay so these are some parts through which there will be a exchange of gases as well as 
वन थिंग इज कॉमन फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम दैट इज ट्यू फीट हमने बताया था कि ट्यू फीट का काम क्या है इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर द एक्सचेंजेस ऑफ एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज एंड एक्ट एज अ रेस्पिरेशन ओके सो सभी में कौन सा कॉमन हो गया दैट ट्यू फीट इज कॉमन फॉर ऑल एंड दैट इज वन इन योर एनसीआरटी नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सर्कुलेशन हाउ द सर्कुलेशन टेक्स प्लेस हियर अगेन रिड्यूस्ड यहाँ पे क्या हो गया कोई चीज एडवांस होनी थी बट अगेन ये क्या हो गया रिड्यूस फॉर्म में आ गया है यानी कि इसमें कोई भी एडवांसमेंट नहीं हुई ऑलरेडी एडवांसमेंट हो चुकी थी आपके मोलस्का में we have done in the earlier phylum but here we are see we are seeing that in it is of open type okay if you will talk about the arthropoda again some of the members for example in cockroach we have seen that what type of system open system right so here and uh, from uh, here you can see that open type of circulation system is present in case of echinodermata it means that the blood or nothing uh, no pigment is present in the blood ओके okay? इनके ब्लड में कोई भी पिगमेंट नहीं होता है सो दे आर लैकिंग द रेस्पिरेटरी पिगमेंट एंड ड्यू टू दिस देर इज नो कलर एंड वॉट एवर इज सर्कुलेटिंग इन देयर बॉडी दे आर सर्कुलेटिंग थ्रू आउट देयर स्पेस और थ्रू आउट द बॉडी देर इज नो प्रॉपर कैपलरीज आर प्रेजेंट दैट्स वाई वी आर सेइंग इट इज अ ओपन टाइप राइट एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द हार्ट अगेन हार्ट इज एब्सेंट इन केस ऑफ इकाइनोटर्मिटा फिर से प्रिमिटिव फॉर्म आ गया एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम हिमल एंड पेरी हिमल सिस्टम आर प्रेजेंट बिकॉज देर इज नो पिगमेंटेशन प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड ऑफ द इकाइनो डर्मेटा राइट यर नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द नर्वस सिस्टम नर्वस सिस्टम इज जस्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज फाइव ओके एक बीच में एक रिंग हो जाएगी और यही नर्व इट विल रेडिएट आउटसाइड सो दैट मच नर्वस सिस्टम इज प्रेजेंट इन केस ऑफ इकाइनोडर्मेटा दर इज नो प्रॉपर गैंगलियोनेटेड एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस फाइलम राइट हेयर सो वी हैव रिटर्न सरकम ओरल नर्व रिंग इट मीन्स दैट दैट ओरल रिंग विच इज प्रेजेंट हेयर एट द ओरल पार्ट एंड इट इज सर्कुलेटिंग एंड इट इज गोइंग एंड ट्रांसफर्स एंड रेडियो लर्वस आर गोइंग लाइक दिस ओके इसी तरीके से ट्रांसफर्स और रेडियो में ये नर्व जा रही हैं बट दीज आर नॉट द ट्रू वन एज वेल एज The sense organs are also absent. फिर आप देख रहे हो कि ये भी फीचर क्या है इसमें प्रिमिटिव हो गया कि पहले फाइलम में क्या हो चुके थे कुछ फीचर एड हो गए थे जैसे कि सेंस ऑर्गन डेवलप हो गए थे वी हैव डन दैट स्टेटोसिस्ट वॉज डेवलप्ड वी हैव डन दैट टेंटिकल सो मेनी सेंस ऑर्गन वो दे आर बट ही आर इफ विल टॉक अबाउट इट देर इज नो सेंस ऑर्गन आर प्रेजेंट राइट यूर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्रिएशन अगेन एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड that no excretory organs are present in case of echinodermata so we can say excretory organ be absent hai okay so whatever the waste product is removing from the body they will then by the diffusion okay through their whole body surface now if you'll talk about the reproduction how they are reproducing so we can say sexual reproduction there is need of both male and female gamete and condition is unisexual it means that if there is uh, If there is two body, so one will be the male and another will be the female, right? एक भी अगर हम पहले फाइलम की बात करें उसमें क्या था हर्माफ्रोडाइट एक ही बॉडी में मेल भी फीमेल भी बट हेयर फ्रॉम सम ऑफ द फाइलम विच वी आर स्टडिंग हेयर कुछ फाइलम में जैसे जैसे एडवांसमेंट हो रहे हैं तो क्या हो गया बॉडी अलग अलग हो गई ओके मेल बॉडी अलग फीमेल बॉडी अलग सो हियर द कंडीशन ऑफ यूनिसेक्शुअल दैट ओनली वन सेक्स इज प्रेजेंट इन वन बॉडी That's why we are saying unisexual. Now another one is no sexual dimorphism. As we have done in case of um, Ascaris. Ascaris के case में हमने क्या पढ़ा था कि male Ascaris और female Ascaris में you can see the difference. आप बाहर से उनको identify कर सकते हो कि male Ascaris कैसा है female Ascaris. But here in this case there is no sexual dimorphism. It means that you cannot uh, identify with the help of morphology of two sexes कि male है या female है ये identify नहीं कर सकते हैं. Right? As well as how the fertilization will take place. The fertilization will be external. It means that uh, the male gamete will send its male as well as female and outside the body there will be fertilization there will be no fertilization inside the female body so what type of fertilization it will be there external fertilization okay now about the development we know that two types of development direct development and indirect development direct development directly there is forming of 
individual of or other animal but in direct in the development there will be a intermediate stage in which there will be a formation of larva this indirect development mein kya hota hai ki beech mein ek larval stage hoti hai and due to this larval stage it will transform its body after to, into the adult one okay so if we'll talk about the development in case of echinodermata they are having indirect development and indirect development there will be formation of larval stage and this larval stage will undergo metamorphosis what is the meaning of metamorphosis there will be some changes in the larval body okay so there will be metamorphosis and due to this metamorphosis it will transform into the adult animal okay and here we know that the larval form is bilateral symmetry right here so here we have done about all the general features and if you we'll talk more about the larval stage so many larval larva are present in case of echinodermata for example bipinere larva and ophiplera so so many larva are there you don't have to study all these larvas larva in case of this echinodermata right and example of this echinodermata are as we have discussed sea urchin sea lily and uh, <coughs> the starfish and sea cucumber so these are the examples of echinodermata right here so uh, do study all these things revise it uh, and that's all for today thank you